Hey guys, I'm back today with another paper pumpkin box. This is called Friends of a Feather. It's the October 2018 paper pumpkin. If you're not familiar with paper pumpkin, it's a monthly subscription. You can sign up for month to month, three months at a time, six months, a year. Um, I will have all the information, well, a link to the information below if you're interested. So we'll go ahead and open this, go through it, and I will show you everything that comes inside. This is, wait till you see what's inside, put a bow on your Christmas prep with Paper Pumpkin, your one-stop box for holiday paper crafting, don't miss it. Um, the last, if you want the, the Christmas box, which I love this box, and this may be a hint to what's in it. I don't, we don't ever know what's in it ahead of time. So we find out when you guys find out. Um, so if you're interested in Paper Pumpkin and you want to grab the holiday box that's coming out, um, you want to subscribe by November 10th. So there's that. We'll go ahead and take everything out and I'll unwrap it. And this kit is very pretty. Um, I've seen the projects are very pretty, but I've seen some alternative projects that are lovely as well. So as always, the kit comes in a sealed, kind of vacuum sealed, whatever, um, package. And it has a colored picture on the front. It has supplies for eight cards and eight envelopes. And we'll go ahead and open this. All right. So, like I said, Friends of a Feather is what the kit's called. You have, on this side, you have um, black and white instructions on how to put the cards together or the project, whatever it is. And on the back here, you have what's included in the kit as well as coordinating colors. So we're going to go through, hopefully this list is right. It seems like every month I get confused and this really isn't difficult. So I don't know if it's me or if it's the print. <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to go through it and I'm going to show you everything that is included in the kit. So first of all, Friends of a Feather stamp set. Hopefully you can see. The uh, print is so light on here. I wish they would darken it up because you know in the typical Stampin' Up! stamp sets it's not like this so I don't know why oh maybe it is it's just so light anyway so this is a nice little stamp set it has a feather a little line of dots some leafy images this is friends of a feather stick together get well thinking of you may hope make you feel lighter and then for your ink pad, you get Knight of Navy. I have the full ink pad, so I will be putting this aside and using the full ink pad. You get eight printed card bases. So, let's see if I can get this right. Here are these. You get four of these, which this is my favorite. I think it is so pretty. So, just fold this. I love, love this. And they had a previous kit long ago, a couple years ago. It was like a Father's Day kit, orange. And I think it had this type of cover. It's just so pretty. And these are smaller than A2 size. So nice little note cards. Love that. So you get four of these and then you get four of these, which are a little bit bigger, but they have this nice scallop detail. So that is your eight. You get eight printed envelopes, so coordinating envelopes with each one. Three sheets of die cut elements. Now here's where I get all messed up every time. Three sheets of die cut elements. So these, <laughs> so these are three sheets. You get like an oval, then you get some sentiment pieces, and then you get this shape to punch out for your sentiments so there's that six sheets of laser cut elements so here are two two of these colors and then you just punch these out beautiful beautiful and then here is two more two of these and again you have these beautiful feathers and then you get two of these I love this color. What color is this? Coastal Cabana. Yes, it's like a minty, darker than a minty bluish. It's really pretty. Teal, I guess. 
Um, so you get six of those. You get two yards of metallic twine. One yard of vanilla gold weave ribbon. Really pretty. You get 30 sequin adhesive, adhesive back sequins and dimensionals and adhesive dots. So I'm going to go ahead and put, these are two different cards. We're going to go ahead and put two of them together. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this card panel first and I'm going to put this together just like the directions say in the kit. So I'm taking some of the leaf, the leaf, the feather die cuts and I'm attaching the adhesive dots to them to adhere them to the card base. And I take one of the little floral pieces and attach that. Go in and stamp out my sentiment and then I'll attach it to that blue oval. Again, using the adhesive dots. I do create a couple alternatives, but some people may not call them alternatives. I try, if I create any alternative cards, I try to only use what's in the kit so say you are doing with this some doing this with some friends or you go traveling or you do it in the car you're not going to want to bring a lot of supplies so um they're alternatives they're all they let me start over they are alternatives to what they suggest stamp it up suggest but they're um sticking to the kit they're not so different that you would need to bring in other supplies. Now this is the second card and again I'm making it just like they suggest. For this card or for this card base it was hard to make a different style card because that panel is just so pretty but I have seen cards where they do um, I'm sorry I've seen other people do cards where they actually cut that panel off the the laser cut panel right there the white and they attach it to a different card base to make it an actual a2 size card and that looks beautiful but like I said I stuck to what was in the kit so basically the cards I'll show you after this one are just kind of um, different layouts if you want to consider that so I'm going to go ahead and attach the ribbon. Um, if you follow my other channel, you might already know this, but I am testing out a new microphone. I did it for one video over there, and this is my second video I'm using it. I'm trying my best to make it work. A couple years ago, my husband bought me this wonderful, expensive microphone, and I used it probably for a handful of videos, and then I bought myself a new Mac, and the mic doesn't work with the Mac. So I am trying different um, mics and this one's a cheapo mic, but I'm hoping that it works. It, it makes my sound sound a little bit more focused and not like I'm in my room. Um, but let me know if there are any sound issues, please. And please be patient with me as I try to figure this out because I want to have great sound for you guys. So going back to what I already showed I didn't realize the videos uh, the videos oh geez the envelopes had like a lining so I was just showing you that really pretty so here's my first kind of alternative card I decided to attach three of the feathers and then attach them to the card base and here I am just tying a bow with the twine that came in the kit and I'm going to attach it to the cluster of feathers and as if it was the twine was tied around the feathers. Go ahead and attach it like that. This one actually is my one of my favorite cards. I like the layout. I do go ahead and attach the sentiment, the oval sentiment. Personally, I don't know why I didn't explore, you know, with the sentiments. I could have used just the sentiment strip that came in the kit. Um, I don't... Like, I like this card, but I'm not too crazy about the sentiment being so big and it kind of covers up that one feather, the bottom portion. So if I had this to do over, I would create, I would do a smaller sentiment. Go ahead and add some of those sequins and that completes that card. For this card, it's really the same card. However, I do change the layout a little bit with the little floral pieces, not floral, but um, like leaf leaves, the little sprigs 
of different colors, these things, whatever you want to call them. I just kind of changed the layout. I put them on both sides instead of just to the left. Just to give you some different variation. Like I said, this I had no ideas for this type of card aside from what I've seen with them cutting that white panel off and putting it on a different card base. But I don't want to do that because I really liked the these cards the way they were. They'll make nice little note cards if you want to just give somebody a, a small note. You don't have much to say, but you just want to give them a little token of something with maybe a a few words in it, but not a, you know, a lot. This is perfect because there's not a lot of space to write, uh, you know, when compared to an A2 size card. So now I'm back to this card base and I decided to go ahead and do a top folding card. And some may think, well, that one edge is scallop. What if you want to display the card on a table or a desk? Um, I did try that and it, it stands up perfectly. It's not too much of a of a scallop where it cuts into that side of the cardstock when you open it. So um, it worked out perfectly. But real simple, just put, again, put the cluster of feathers together, tied a bow, did the sentiment. Again, the sentiment to me is too big, but you know, you can experiment with that. It could have done away probably with the, without the oval. And here I am setting it up and it works totally fine. So here the, here's the original card. And then here are the kind of variations I did. Nothing spectacular. Um, that middle one, I just added different. I omitted one of the feathers and added different little sprigs of that one die cut. I can't even speak. I don't even know what you call those. So here are just a little bit, couple, two different variations. Nothing special. But... Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this either way. It was pretty simple, not too much of a variation in the cards. But if you have the kit, it just gives you an idea to do something different. Let me know what you think. Let me know if the sound is an issue. I'm going to go back and listen to the video and stuff, but I don't really know how it sounds on YouTube until I post it to YouTube. So bear with me and I will get all this figured out trying to do the best videos I can for you guys. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!